Hi, this is Charlie Taylor. I was just wanting to call and let y'all know I'm fixing to blow up 10 pounds of Tannerite. And I know it's just gonna boom real big and I know probably somebody's gonna call. I just wanted to let you know that it ain't nothing crazy. We're out in the woods blowing stuff up. Okay, you're about to... Shoot some Tannerite, some of that exploding target. We're gonna blow a tree down with it. All right. Uh... So if you get any explosion calls from out around like the Pruitts area, it's no big deal. Nobody's like dying or anything. Okay. All right. All right, man. Put hold real quick. All right. All right. So yeah, put me on hold real quick. Let me check my supervisor. Make sure that's all right. See, I don't really have to do this. I just try to do this to keep cool with them, because, I mean, it is going to be a big explosion, you know. So, try to be courteous if I can. As long as it's on your property, that's fine. We appreciate you for letting us know. Oh yes, sir. Absolutely. Y'all have a good day. You too. All right. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. No. <laughs> he said, "Oh." So, already, already was hitting the button, bro. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, our butts are covered. What's up, guys? OG Woods, two A Tarzan. Today, I woke up and it's a, uh, it's raining. Got snow in the forecast. It's supposed to be 20 degrees tomorrow. We need some firewood. I work a nine to five job, guys. I'm tired like the rest of y'all. So, I don't want to swing an axe today. So what am I going to do? I need that tree to come down. 10 pounds of Tannerite, baby! Here comes the boom. Enjoy the show. <laughs> I've never rock climbed in my life, but I need to get up here. So we're gonna try it. All right. And my feet can't fit in here, so this is solely hands right here. Finally, I take this off. want the satisfaction of knowing I did this. Oh, fuck. That's the one right there. That's the one I can't beat. That hole way up there is huge. It will blow this tree in half. My weapon of choice today is my AR-47. It's a AR platform, chambered in 7.62 by 39. Firefield rapid strike scope, okay? Just like a Nikon 1 to 6 by 24. Third of the price. Just like it. I love this scope. So what we're gonna be using today though. Fail let y'all know. Yay, let's get it. All right, baby girl, I think I'm actually gonna get right here to the right of you, okay? I, I just feel safer being right here beside you. Make sure I'm... This thing will be crazy, bro. Are y'all ready to blow a tree down? Everybody ready? I need to hear a yes. Ready. And that tree did not fall down. So let's go see what it did to that tree. I am very 
<laughs> Surprised it didn't blow that thing down. I was hoping I had a, like 30 rounds in here. I was gonna try to chop it down. I guess not. <laughs> I said we go get some more Tannerite. Let's do that. All right, guys. So, as you see by the tree behind me, still standing, that didn't blow it down. It definitely blew more than half of the base out. I don't know how it's still standing. The rest of my Tannerite that I own is in that pipe right there. It's about four and a half pounds. I want to be sure that that's going to knock this tree down. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to start, I got 42 rounds, 40 rounds, I just put two boxes in 40 rounds from the AR to Drew 3, and they're all target tips. And then I've got 20 rounds in this, it's a 7.62 AR, and I'm going to put 15 of them through the tree first to soften it up. These are hollow points, by the way. These are target tips. 40 of these to soften it up, 15 of these to soften it up, and then hopefully I'll make a hole big enough I can put that pipe through it, and when I put that pipe through it, that should finish the job. If it doesn't, this is the toughest dead tree I have ever seen, ever. So let's do it guys. We got 7.62, and we got the 223. Light it up. All right, so we've got the Ruger 223556 with 40 rounds, and we're just going to soften this tree up a little bit. Shooting target tips. Ugh, pretty sure I know it's not going to ricochet off of a dead tree. jams we're gonna try to be a little more accurate with this one actually let me not flip upside so I there we go Hmm. I mean, we're definitely putting holes in it. We're making sawdust out of it. But I'm needing more than that. I'm needing a big hole punched through it. So, considering that's not happening, we might have to figure out a way to wedge that sucker up in there. So, we're going to go ahead and save those last few of those 15 rounds we were going to shoot at it. Oh, shit. That might work, man. What? So we just shot five pounds of tannerite and it didn't go off. It was very well mixed in. I mean, literally, I don't know what we could have done differently. All right, guys, day two with the tannerite logging. Yesterday's round two, first round, we took the tree halfway out. But it's still standing. Second round, we packed this full of tannerite, shot it, and it didn't blow up. So, today, 
we got another eight and a half pounds of tannerite. And uh, I'm gonna try to hollow out a little log in this tree, maybe. I mean, hollow out a little hole in this tree and stick this in it. See if that helps a little bit. But uh, this tree coming down today, guys. It's gonna happen. I promise. Money, baby. Alright. Feel like we need to pack stuff around it. Got a bunch of crap jammed in over here. This little hanging out of both sides. This is gonna work. You don't have a chance, bro. You don't have a chance. Ready? Yep. Alright, guys. Count it down. Three. Two. Yeah! 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 We are victorious! guys thanks for tuning in with OG Woodsman hope you enjoyed the show that was Tannerite logging tune in next time till then stay in the woods all right guys thanks for tuning in hit that like button and subscribe for more awesome 2a and outdoor content until next time stay in the woods First name G, last name where I came from When I'm back home, I'm more open with my day ones Keep losing homies, that shit makes me wanna stay young If you got a problem with me, you better say something Instrumental combustion, ambition and nothing I seen two women in public and they were kissing and touching I found myself in the middle of something It turned into a function, it was different, I loved it And I, wait, wait, was it all just a dream? Or is my lifestyle really just as crazy as it seems? Did Wazley get stabbed when it started with some drinks? Did we really go and find him leaving bleeding in the streets? Let's ask God for forgiveness, still with it with the team Do I really stay strapped? Is it really him or me? Do I really got the scars that can prove that I've been through it? Is it really in my pocket? Am I really gonna shoot it? Shit. I need to save me for myself